My name is Afan Razak. Um, I've been working with Hounslow Libraries now for only um, about a month now, maybe six weeks or so actually. Uh, for me, uh, being in the library is something very exciting, mainly because again, there's a wide range of resources available for anything that involved that I like to be involved in. My name is Liz Gombosch and I've been working at Chiswick for about ooh, just the same time as Zach. Um, I'm not actually employed by the council, I'm actually an agency temp. I like meeting people, um, you get to see such a wide range of uh, people and um, what they like in the way of books and what they actually ask of you and you think oh perhaps you know it's something that you think I hadn't thought of that or perhaps an author that you thought that um, sounds a bit bland and boring and you think oh perhaps I shall um, you know look them up and read a few of their books so it's um, a two-way education. Uh, for me I have to say my childhood I guess from a young age was linked towards my older brother and what he did for me was actually got me into music more than anything. Uh, when he started school, he started learning guitar. And then me growing up, obviously with him, he introduced me to the actual instrument as well. And then from there, that's where I started playing as well. But then through his music sort of style and his attitude toward music, I ended up starting to play drums and he was on guitar. So we ended up having a little mini band for ourselves. And with that in mind, that built loads of confidence and loads of understanding about what a human can do. It's not just about reading and writing and you know doing all the general stuff that we do. You can learn skills and skills that maybe are a hobby and hopefully potentially could become some sort of success in the future as well. Having that understanding, I've realised that I'm a person who likes to help others and also through that I feel that I'm a person who likes to teach others as well. If there's any information that I may have or information that I think is going to be very substantial for somebody, then I'll put them in that direction to maybe hopefully improve some skill sets of their own or increase knowledge and whatever they may do and understand the future a little better to maybe increase those roads you can go down to make life that a bit more successful as possible. Enthusiasm that I can feel from certain people that I meet in the library, it's mainly to do with young children as well as maybe teenagers for example mainly because they're at a stage in their lives where they're still understanding what needs to be done and then when they're coming in they're informing me of potential ways forward for them and then once that starts off then there's a conversation to explain my own previous life experiences and other people's experiences that I've understood that I can share with them and hopefully gives them a wider range of thinking to what they can potentially go. Mine was um, my mother, my late mother, um, she was a great reader and she imparted her passion into me and um, I've always liked reading um, so in more ways than one um, she's been a great inspiration in my life um, not only for reading but um, as mothers do for everything else as the same as Zach said um, you know when you actually are in a library and you meet the people who have got passion the you know the feeling that this library generates to people that we're welcoming and nothing is too much trouble for them. For me I think it's a very good thing, uh, mainly because it's a, a joint force of knowledge, you know, you've got a library downstairs combined with Workery, I think it's a fantastic sort of, um, you know, sort of partnership let's say if you will. Um, it's, um, it's promoting studying, it's promoting getting back out there into the library areas, into quiet spaces, to actually knuckle down, sit down and do your work, I think it's fantastic and I hope it stays that way.